How's it going YouTube? Gabriel White here representing the movement towards improvement. I am back out here at the back of the range at Woods Valley Golf Club. I'm going to do a review on the new TaylorMade SRI irons. I got them back here in the box right there and I'm not even going to be the first one to hit them. I met a couple buddies here at the back of the range, never met and you know what if this is going to be a review I want regular anybody to hit these things and see how they are. So let's unbox these puppies and uh, give them a couple hits. Okay, you guys, here we are. Got the three through pitching wedge RSI irons. Let's take them out and give them a look. Okay, here they are, fresh out of the rack, wrapper, uh, black, red, and silver. Pretty clean looking. Um, got obviously the slot on the bottom and the two slots on the face. Okay, here we are in the back of the range with Doug. He is going to hit the very first shot with the TaylorMade RSI irons. Uh, what's your first initial reaction of the look of the club? Look is okay. It's just got uh, too thick of a top uh, top uh, line on it, I guess. Okay. And what clubs are you playing right now? Uh, Mizuno MP60. Okay. So they have a little uh, lesser top line than you That's prefer. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, What's your handicap? Uh, one and a half. But let's give them a try then, huh? Okay. Pitching wedge. So all the idea is, you know, TaylorMade's new marketing campaign is, you know, miss hits happen, and with the slots they put in on the face, the idea is that. Uh, a slight miss hit is going to go, you know, farther than, let's say, another club. Uh, be conscientious, conscientious of feel and sound for me as well. Okay, that felt pretty good. Okay. Again, they're very light, so... Uh... Very light, Doug says. Go very high in the air. Now, do you naturally play a draw, Doug? Just a little bit. Okay, because those are drawn for you. Yeah. Yeah, maybe go up to a higher club. Uh, yeah. What, what do you have over there? Well, they got the whole set for you. Three through pitching wedge. Try a seven iron. Okay. Now, you said they go very high in the air. Do you think that'd be good for a higher handicapper? I think so, yeah. They have scoring lines grooved in on the face, which is kind of cool. Helps you kind of align it a little bit. So your initial reactions, sound, feel, accuracy, so far your comments have been they're light, um, they go high, yeah. um, you like the scoring grooves, what, do you have any, anything negative other than maybe the top line's a little too big for you? That's the only thing that I see, they sit like a regular, uh, uh, a better player blade. I, again. That would be my thing, they're just much too light for me. Okay, well let's give uh, your buddy Tim a try. Okay, Tim. Tim, what do you want to start off with? Pitching wedge or? Oh uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, Tim, what is your handicap? A 12. 12, okay. And what irons do you currently play? Uh, a mix of Mizuno 57s and DCIs. Okay, cool. Yeah, and be conscientious of feel for me compared to, you know, let's say your DCI irons. That was a nice strike. Yeah, that was real nice. So how does that feel compared to your DCI irons? Harder, softer? Um, well, they, they're definitely lighter, so they're, they're moving through the air. Feel quicker? Yeah, a little quicker, yes. Yeah, okay. So How's that trajectory on that shot compared to your normal pitching wedge? Uh, that's a little higher. Yeah, okay. Definitely higher. So. Yeah, I, I really want to take these clubs out on the course and compare them to my clubs and see if you know maybe that higher shot gives me more distance than my pitching wedge or you know it's a pro or con there I think you probably do get a little more distance height is distance exactly yeah well, that was nice you know I could probably knock off a few hundred bucks for him <laughs> if you wanna if you wanna do the same you know you guys have been the only ones to hit him so far so alright let's go to a little more lofted club Now, I don't know if it's me, I, it seems like all those balls are drawing. Do you know, normally play a draw, uh, Tim? Yeah, yeah. Okay. sometimes a, a little more draw than I like. Okay. Yeah. I can relate to that one. Hogan could relate to that one, too. 
How's the sound? Do you guys notice anything with the sound of the club? On the, on the few pitching wedges I hit, uh, the one that I hit solid, you know, it made that kind of thud. Good or bad or no, tinny? I thought it was good. Looks like a strike is pretty good. Um, anything on the feel or sound or accuracy of these? Well, I, I, I'm miss hitting them, you know, off center, and, and they seem to be a little more forgiving. Well, certainly more forgiving than my clubs. Okay, I mean your clubs. I mean, they are older. Um, I used to play. I used to play the DCI irons. So something like this, and I'm not even going to push TaylorMade specifically, but something, you know. Uh, with today's technology, so there's a little thicker cavity back, the sweet spot's a little bigger. Whether it's any other brand might help you. Sure. Um, but definitely, you're hitting those good, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they feel pretty good. Do you guys want to try like a one long iron real quick? Because I know long iron's a little harder today. Do you want to try one real quick, Tim? Would you like a five iron? Yeah, five or four. Look at that. Look how nice of a guy I am. Not even, not even giving you guys the first shots on these clean clubs. I know if I was the first one to hit him, I'd curse him or something. <laughs> well, to the right. Contact wasn't too bad, though. Okay, thanks. Uh, I want to say thanks to Doug and Tim for being my guinea pigs today, trying these new irons out. I'm honestly not sure if they're in the stores or not. Um, quick overview, Tim, you were just hitting them last. Pros and cons. I want you to tell me honestly, didn't like this, but I did like that, etc. What are you? What are your thoughts? Um, well, certainly when I mishit them, they they were much more forgiving, like I said, than the, the clubs that I that I'm using currently. So um, that would definitely be a pro. So, um, okay. Any any negative comments? at the look or sound or? Uh, no, not really. I mean, they 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 sound very similar to what I'm swinging and. And uh, it's just the lightness of them uh, is something to, to have to get used yeah. to. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Tim. Doug? Uh, the only negative I have is it has a, a, a thicker than normal top line on, on the top of the club. Uh, they're kind of light uh, for me, but uh, the pros are the ball goes high. Miss hits are uh, pretty forgiving. You know, shaft is uh, labeled stiff, but I'm not quite sure that it actually is, uh, you know, when you compare that to the irons I'm currently hitting. Okay. Uh, all in all, good, I'd say. Certainly a game improvement club that a lot of people could benefit from. All right, thanks, you guys. Appreciate your honest feedback, right. and have good luck on your golfing journey. Thank you. Thanks, Gabe. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to do what Doug and Tim did. Hit a pitching wedge, 7-iron, 4 and I like that gap being kind of get a short iron, a mid iron, a long iron, kind of test them out and compare them to my TaylorMade MCs I have right now. I'm going to be rating these clubs on sound, feel, distance, accuracy and forgiveness so those five areas and just kind of rate them one out of ten for you guys i'm gonna start off hitting a few pitching wedges with my my own clubs my own mcs try to look at the flight um, and the distance okay hit that all right okay hit that pretty good now i'll go to the rsi one iron or rsi iron the one series pitching wedge Obviously, um, bigger, bigger head. Um, the top line doesn't look too much bigger to me. I like how there's not too much offset with this pitching wedge, which I like. Yeah, definitely, definitely lighter. Like um, Tim and Doug said, I play X100s, so obviously these ones are going to be considerably lighter. Um, but these are made for a higher handicapper. Um, definitely, like I said, definitely is the club's doing what Tim and Doug said. Went higher, definitely went further. Yeah. Yeah, feels good. Um, sound, nothing jumps out at me, which is good. I don't want to be, I don't want a sound that's very loud, obnoxious. So something that kind of blends in, I like. Uh, sounds normal to me, which is good. Okay, let's give the 7 iron a try. I'll hit mine first. My TaylorMade MCs. Okay, not bad there. Let's try out the seven iron in the RSI. Once again, for it being a higher handicap club, I like how there's just not much offset. Back in the day, the offset on the higher handicap club used to be enormous. Um, I think this club looks great for a higher handicapper, but still have the forgiveness. Yeah, I mean, 
these 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 things look like they're just going a mile further. Um, I'm sure, the lofts are a little bit stronger. I mean, they're just a bigger sweet spot. Yeah, pretty good. Slightly toey. Um, ball flight looked good though. Definitely gonna take these out on the course, kind of see if I can see any distances between my clubs and these clubs. And obviously, I mean, yes, they're higher handicappers, they're gonna go farther, but be interesting to see how much. Okay, so here I have, I got my own four iron here. And personally, this is where I struggle a lot right here is in the long irons. Um, that's why I really like the idea of a combo set where you know, your three, four, five iron is a big, thick cavity back. You could have your middle irons being more or less big cavity back and then your short irons and wedges being, you know, even a blade. So I like the idea of a cavity back or a combo set, I mean. Okay, let's try out the RSI now. Okay, here is the RSI four iron now. Um, definitely looks more forgiving just by looking when you see a little thicker top line, a little bigger head, uh, which is nice, especially in the long irons. Okay, that first shot I hit was absolutely pounded. Um, just killed that. Definitely higher ball flight, um, which is nice. Okay guys, so my quick review on those TaylorMade RSI irons is um, sound, I'd give them about an eight. Um, didn't really notice too much, which is a good thing. Um, feel, uh, I'd give about a seven. Obviously, they don't feel like a forge club, very soft, um, but not bad. So I'd give about a seven there. Um, distance, uh, I would definitely give probably about a 9.5. I feel like the ball, especially with that four iron, was just going a mile. Um, so for distance, I think these clubs go far. Accuracy, um, pretty good once again. Didn't really get any funky shots left or right. They're all pretty, even my bad shots were pretty consistent. So for the miss hits, um, good. I would give that probably about a nine again. Yeah, so I forget what the last one I was gonna rate these clubs on, but um, yeah, good clubs overall. You know, I used to work at the Golf Mart, so people were always asking me questions on what clubs to buy. And you know, with all the club companies out there today, a lot of good companies make good clubs. So I would always grab a TaylorMade iron, a Ping iron, a Callaway iron. And at the end of the day, the clubs need to sell themselves. I always tell people, you know, what looks the best to you, what feels the best, and then let's kind of compare the data on trajectory and um, distance and accuracy. So definitely give these a try if you're thinking about getting a game improvement iron, something that's going to go high and far. Um, Tim and Doug were saying the same thing, same things I said. It's pretty evident. They're going to go higher. Um, they're going to go farther and um, at least farther than my clubs. I don't want to say farther than your clubs, but my MCs, um, I can guarantee you they're going to go farther. We'll even go on the course and try that out. So should say that. And yes, definitely going to be more forgiving than a blade or a smaller cavity back. So I think those slots in the face seem to be helping perhaps. Um, I, I honestly kind of thought just initially when I saw these that these slots right here would kind of deaden the sound or dead in the feel of a bad shot. I don't know, just the rubberness. That's just my own subconscious, you know, it was just gonna kind of soften it up a little bit. So that's just my own idea. Go give them a try, you guys. Um, I like them. I would definitely recommend somebody to try them. But yeah, give them a try. I mean, it felt pretty good. Um, Doug was actually saying to Tim that, you know, he could really benefit from these clubs. So there you go. I mean, at the end of the day, um, the club's gotta sell themselves. The person's gotta like it. For me working at Golf Mart, I know that um, Taylor made clubs sold pretty well, so you, it can't be just all marketing. You have to make a good club, and these ones sold pretty good to me. Yeah, you guys, this is Gabriel right here, representing the movement towards improvement. Please subscribe, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all links down below. Let me know what irons um, you play. Let me know what irons. Do you, let me know if you think these will help you out. Let me know what you think of this review. Let me know what you think about life. Let me know what you think about God and the universe. All comments down below. Thanks, you guys. I'm out here. Peace.